Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike. Guys, I wanted to do a brief update for everyone on my Project Black Hawk and show you uh, the progress that I've made thus far. The first half of this project is complete. Uh, the second half will be uh, more intensive as I go into a lot of the smaller details on the exterior of the helicopter like antennas, the wire cutters, steps, rails, um, things of that nature. So the first thing that I did with this, this toy is I completely disassembled it, took it apart, and I repainted the uh, cockpit and the, the troop bay. And I exclusively use Apple Barrel and Folk Art brand paints by Plaid Crafts. I also exclusively use uh, Royal Art Brush uh, synthetic brushes. So you guys can see that I repainted the uh, troop bay painted all the seats in dolphin gray in there and you can see that I repainted the cockpit all the instrumentation cluster in there controls in the center column I added flight controls and I just made those out of the plastic uh, guardrails that were included uh, with this set I just cut them and, and made those out of that the base pad for the cyclic control is actually one of the uh, smoke grenade dispensers off of the uh, Elite Force Naval Special Warfare gunboat. And a little bit of dust there where I was doing some cutting. You can also see I've installed glass in the side doors, the gunner doors, as well as the side doors. And I've left the stop tab in place. And one of the reasons for that is on one set, I cut them off completely. And it would allow the door to slide open, but because there isn't another tab up here at the top, as well as a rail on the bottom, uh, the door was canted at an angle and it would eventually have fallen off. On the exterior, you can see that I've repainted the engine intake and I've used a uh, Elmer's silver paint marker as well as folk art metallic silver paint to paint this part of the uh, engine section that goes into the exhaust deflector. I used uh, uh, pavement gray as a uh, base and did the exhaust in, in a gun metal. I painted the top navigation light, the IR markers on the horizontal stabilizer. You can see I've repainted uh, the rotor mast. I've also added pitch links so that it has four pitch links to it. They aren't connected to the base pad, but it still looks you know more realistic than it did before when the blades are spinning. Also repainted uh, this section of the blaze where the um, defrosters are located. And you guys can see this side where I've got the pilot. Now the one thing that isn't accurate on this is the uh, collective pitch lever on the pilot side. And that's because I didn't have room to put it on the left of his seat next to the uh, center column control. Another problematic area was uh, some of the Gorilla Glue that got on the plastic. I haven't gotten it completely off yet, and I'm just slowly trying to clean it off without damaging the plastic. And you can see I painted the interior of the troop bay as well as the uh, cockpit at pavement gray. So this is a, a really, really nice model. Now above it, I have the Motormax, uh, that one just arrived today. This particular helicopter has an opening and closing gunner doors, which means you don't have to do any kind of modification to the fuselage other than adding the weapon stations. And again, uh, I used that boat that you see in the background, the Special Operations Gunboat or SOCAR from Elite Force, and I just cannibalized it for parts. Uh, for the Black Hawk, and I took all the gun stations off of it. So the next thing that I'm going to do uh, is going to be to add the forward mantle uh, electro-optical sensor, as well as the FLIR pod on the bottom. And again, uh, I've taken that one off of the, uh, the gunboat to add it onto the helicopter. I'm also going to be adding the side rails on here, a wire cutter here, and here as well as a step for the pilot and co-pilot. I'm also going to add an external uh, refueling probe 
onto this helicopter. I'm working on that now. I'm trying to source parts to use for the uh, chaff and flare dispensers to go on either side of the tail boom. But you can see this, this is a really nice toy, really nice helicopter. You know, in my opinion, it's just as nice as the uh, BBI, Elite Force Blackhawk. The only difference is in the two helicopters really is the uh, length of the tail boom on the BBI helicopter is uh, to scale. Uh, it's almost twice the length of this. And then of course you have a lot more uh, accurate detailing done to the toy, but it's also much more fragile. And I can tell you for a fact that this plastic is also fragile. I've broken two of these during this whole process of trying to customize this helicopter. This is my third one. Uh, so I had the interior done and I broke the second one and you know I had to order a third one to to complete it. And you know the, the counterbalance I couldn't get that to spin with the rotor mast you know without the blades coming off so I just repainted the counterbalances and I left it in place. Uh, much simpler to do that and, and just kind of add the pitch links you know free floating as they are and uh, you're good to go. So it, it's you know still a really really nice toy you know I think I did a pretty good job on it you know with what I had to work with and uh, as I go along I'm gonna make you know more modifications to it the one thing that I wanted to add in the first half of this uh, custom that I wasn't able to add was the e triple s uh, support mounts here on either side of the fuselage I just wasn't able to find anything the correct shape or anything that I can modify and I will tell you that without a rotary tool, uh, this custom is impossible. It's impossible to do it without one. I mean, you absolutely have to have it. You have to use sandpaper. And you guys can see that I intentionally sanded the blades down, um, you know, for a good portion of them, including behind uh, the le uh, leading edge of the blades uh, where the defroster is located. And if you didn't know that, these blades do have, you know, uh, defrosters built into them. The connections are actually visible at the, the blade root up here where it anchors in uh, to the uh, rotor hub. You know, they got some of the really small details uh, onto this toy, and what, that really surprised me because I wasn't expecting any of that. And, you know, again, uh, for the price point, $42, you can't beat it. Uh, the Motormax helicopter up top, uh, it was uh, $65. Uh, and it's only available on two websites uh, on the internet. And, you know, this is new in the box. This isn't used. Uh, I ordered this uh, from a third-party reseller uh, on their website. So, guys, there you have the click-and-play Black Hawk helicopter.